hi and welcome to my channel i'm really i'm glad you are here today and i just want you to know that i really truly appreciate your presence here today watching my video from wherever you are from around the world i am actually an afro jamaican living abroad and I came into the realization that I am an African, not just Jamaican, about 10 years ago. And a lot of people were surprised about that. But at the same time, it is just my reality. And it took me a little bit longer to come into the realization of who I am. And you know, the thing about that, I know I'm not the only one. But the good thing is that I discovered my identity. So if you guys would like to see that video as to how I came into the realization that I am not only Jamaican, but I am also an African. That's the reason why I call myself an Afro-Jamaican. I will put the link of that video in the description below. But in that video, I said that I wanted to know or have some idea of what my true last name, my true surname is. Am I Smith? Am I Davis? Am I Jones? Well, I went on the internet and I did some digging. I tried my hardest to find surnames of those who actually came across through the Atlantic slave, slave trade. And I was unable to locate any names, any last name. I was able to find a few fir first names, but not the actual surnames. And I think I have a, a reason or an idea as to why that is. And if you are an English speaker, sometimes pronouncing the African, an African word or an African name can be very challenging. So what I found is that the first name, you could tell that they tried their best to write out their first name in um, the most creative English way, but the last name I could not find. And I know that has to be documented somewhere. Those records has to be in a library somewhere. So if anybody knows how to locate that information, please let me know. I would love to get my hands on those documents and just look through them and just read off the various last names of the Africans that came across through the Atlantic slave trade. But it is not a big disappointment because while we are in the 21st century, we can always look on the internet for information. So I went online and I did a little research and I looked up most common West African last name. Because at the end of the day, I know that there is no way I would be able to identify my actual African surname, but just having an idea of what that name is, is really all that really matters at the end of the day. So I was able to locate a few common West African surnames that I am going to share with you today. Now, what makes this so amazing is that everything in Africa seems to have a significant meaning behind it. Even our names have meaning. Even the very last name, the very surnames that we have, have meanings. And I want to share that with you today. But before I do that, I have something even more exciting to share with you. I'm going to give you something even more exciting. So I'm going to put the surnames on the back burner just a little bit. All I'm asking is for you guys to just hang on, stick around with me and um, get through this video with me. Okay. So while I was doing some research, I discovered that every one of us of African ancestry have an actual day name. So we all have what is called an African name, a day name. So if you want to know what your day name is, all you have to do is to grab your phone. I'm grabbing mine right now. I'm grabbing my phone and then I'm gonna go to the, the calendar on my phone. And from the calendar, I am actually scrolling through to my year of birth scroll through to your year of birth and once you've identified your year of birth this is all you have to do 
is to locate your birthday. So after I identified my birthday, I discovered that I was born on the most amazing day of the week. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you actually what my day name is also towards the end of this video. But guys, did you find your your birthday then identify what day you were born because I am going to tell you what your African day name is so being born in Jamaica we don't necessarily think about day names uh, we don't even think about the day we were born we were just told that our birthday was November 15 1985 right our parents they tell they're good at telling us what our birthday is but they do not tell us about what day we were born because it's not a part of a tradition every west african i can't speak of every african in general but every west african actually has an african day name okay let's get into this video because i think i'm talking a little bit too much so if you were born on a sunday your name actually would be if you were a boy Kwesi. so if you were born on a sunday your name would be Kwesi, and if you are a girl it would be a kosua huh so hey if i'm in jamaica and i say hey a kosua hey Kwesi, now you know what i'm talking about if you were born on a monday and you're a boy your name would be kojo and if you're a girl, it would be Ajua. Ajua. It's so cool. So we do have an African name. It is called a day name. So if you were born on a Tuesday and you're a boy, your name would be Kobe. And if you're a girl, your name would be Abina. If you were born on a Wednesday and you're a boy, your name would be Kweku. And if you're a girl, it would be Akua. If you are born if you were born on a Thursday as a boy or a girl, your name would be Ya. Ya. That's your African day name. If you were born on a Friday, that name, if you are a boy, would be Afia, and if you are born, and if you are a girl, your name would be Afua. If you were born on a Saturday, your name would be, as a boy, would be Kwame, or a girl, Ama. So guys, I just told you what your African name is. So my African name is actually Ajua. <laughs> Ajua. I'm Ajua. What is your African name? Go ahead and type that in the comments below. Let's pick up from here. So. Now, remember earlier I was saying that Africans, everything that they do or say has significant purpose and meaning. So it's the same thing with our names. Even our day name has a significant meaning. So if you are Kojo or Ajua, it means that it's associated with peace. It means peace. And the funny thing is, I am a Jua and the meaning is peace. And I actually see myself as a very peaceful person. So it tends to match my personality. Kobe or Abena, Abina. Kobe or Abina is associated with ocean. Kweku or Akua is associated with spider or anansi so let's hope you're not a well actually anansi is not a bad thing right because <laughs> in every story that we read about anansi anansi is always a cunning person very smart and very clever huh so i hope you are a cunning and clever person if you are a kua or a kweko now ya ya is associated with earth kofi or kofi I want to say Afia actually. Afia or Afua is associated with fertility. It would be so funny if you're a woman and uh, you actually do have a lot of children. <laughs> you actually have a lot of children. 
<laughs> oh my god it says here that the definition of your day name is fertility so let's see if it matches what's going on in your life or afia do you have a lot of children <laughs> um kwame or ama is associated with god i that one I, I don't get but yeah it's associated with god all right guys so now let's get into the surnames because boy i tell you these names are not easy to pronounce when you are an english speaker that is challenging but let's hope maybe i can use my skills from patois and hopefully help me pronounce these <laughs> these words uh so these names are west african names and I came up with a few of them. So guys, I can understand why documented last names would have been a little challenging because if pronouncing it is difficult, then just imagine trying to just spell it, you know? My my friend last name is Ajovi. Ajovi, but at the same time, you don't hear the D, the D sound in her. It's either Ajovi or a Dejovi. A Dejovi. Ah, oh, Lord. As I said, as an English speaker, that is very challenging. So it's challenging to pronounce and it's very challenging to spell. So now let's pull out these West African last surnames. Abimbola. <laughs> Ooh, that actually sounds correct. Abimbola. Abimbola was, is an, an African surname and sometimes these surnames are abbreviated, you know, just to make it easier to pronounce. But um abimbola means born with wealth and uh, balogon oh no 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 let's just balogon i honestly i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it correctly it is spelled b-a-l-o-g-u-n and it actually means father at war now we've heard this name this is a very common one it is actually a surname ojo we all know about ojo right from sam speddy videos oh yes mama ojo <laughs> ojo it is a west african surname and it means brought from heaven next i have adamu adamu is it means father of mankind anaka means graciousness for some reason anaka i hopefully i'm pronouncing that that the right way anaka it means graciousness and abu abubakar abubakar means noble so everything in africa has significant purpose and significant meaning even your very name has a meaning and i think that is the most beautiful thing ever so as of today or from what i did my research i learned that my african name is ajua and it means peace and indeed i am a peaceful person i hope you guys actually did enjoy this video please if you would like to see more content like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button that way i will know to continue making more videos like this so guys please put your day name in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video Bye bye